a great day. But we hang on to win. That is what is important for Ohio State. They do not cover, but they improve to four. Could be rescheduled for December 12th. Both teams have an open date. Those are your HQ headlines. Top 10 showdown in Columbus. Number three, Ohio State hosting number nine, Indiana. Justin Fields has more touchdowns than incompletions this season. 11 incompletions, 13 total touchdowns, zero picks thus far. Tied for second for the Heisman odds at plus 200, tied with Trevor Lawrence. The favorite is Mac Jones. Indiana has lost 25 straight games against Ohio State. Last win coming in 1988. Justin Fields throws a pick right here on the second Buckeye drive. First interception and incompletion in the first quarter, but Indiana unable to capitalize. Late first quarter, Fields with time looking for Chris Olave. Hit as he throws, ball bounces up and it's caught by Jerome Johnson. Three career interceptions in 478 pass attempts, two in his last four. Indiana, though, couldn't capitalize off the second interception, so Ohio State still leads 7-0 after one. But Indiana wouldn't be shut out for long. Early second, Michael Penix Jr. deep to Miles Marshall. Up top, a 68-yard pickup. Down to the three. Indiana would score two plays later to tie it at seven. Buckeyes, though, respond. Following drive, Master Teague the third. Runs left, 41-yard touchdown scamper. 14-7 Buckeyes. Looking to cover 20 and a half. Next Ohio State drive. Justin Fields under pressure. Escapes the tackle. Takes off. Down to the two-yard line. This is why he's one of the favorites to win the Heisman. He makes plays like that. Ohio State punched in on the next play to take a 21-7 lead. Following Indiana fumble. 25 seconds left in the first half. Fields up. And over for the score. Ohio State up 28 to 7, 21 straight points for the Buckeyes. Field started 4-10, 102 yards, a touchdown, two picks. Since then, 7-7, 91 passing yards and a rushing touchdown. Under a minute left in the third quarter. Michael Penix Jr. picked off by Sean Wade. Pick six returned 36 yards for the score. Ohio State. Up 42-21, looking pretty good. First career pick six for Wade. Pick six podcast, download and subscribe today. Tom Allen, he's nervous. Early fourth quarter, fourth and ten. Penix over the middle. David Ellis, walk me in, but don't walk me off because it's not over. Indiana down 42-28. Total hits, went over on that with 70. Next Indiana drive. Penix, sideline to tie Fry Fogel. 56 yards. Indiana makes it a seven-point game. What in the name of... Big Ten football's going on. Indiana has life. Following Ohio State drive, under five minutes to go. Fourth and one. Fields rolls right, takes a shot, gets cute. Uh Uh-uh. Incomplete turnover on downs. With a chance to go up 10, Buckeyes fail on fourth down. What are we doing, Ryan Day? What are we doing? Five seconds left. Ball on the Indiana 38-yard line. Last chance for Michael Penix Jr. Can he make a play? Can Indiana make a play? Can they come up with some magic in Columbus? It doesn't look like it, but maybe there's hope, but maybe, no, Mm -mm. no. Ohio State survives 42-35. Yeah, Justin feels like I didn't have a great day, but we hang on to win. That is what is important for Ohio State. They do not cover, but they improved to 4-0, and and Ohio State has now won 26 straight games against Indiana. Who's your daddy? The Buckeyes. The last win for Indiana in the series was back in 1988. Ryan Day improved to 8-1 against ranked opponents as Ohio State head coach. Michael Pence Jr. had himself a day. Made one mistake, 27-51, a career-high 491 yards, a career-high five touchdowns in that pick six. Justin Fields did not have himself a career day. 18-30, 300 yards, three total touchdowns, three interceptions. Fields had three interceptions in this game. Put that in perspective. That's as many as he had in his entire career entering this game. Heisman worthy, you be the judge.